Crew Stadium in Columbus, Ohio. The final month of the regular season starts now. These two original rivals meet in this important Eastern Conference matchup. DC United Columbus crew for you. DC United to get Ethan White dealing with a knee sprain. So Perry Kitchen is joined by fellow actor and rookie Chris Corb on that back line. Yeah. Crew starting lineup. Well, Chad Marshall is out with an ankle sprain, so Danny O'Rourke is in that center of defense, but Eddie Gavin is back for the crew. That's yeah. big. Game for Columbus at home. They have to win more so than D.C. United because they got only three games left, whereas D.C. got five, but it would be nice for D.C. to get those three. Well, again, the games at hand is such a factor. Of course, Columbus will be in the Canary Gold. They will kick things off. D.C. United in the black as Anguenya right away tries to get involved. United need to defend the set piece. Miranda sending us in. Yeah, well, you sent send runners across that first player we call that Dave, and it served well. It's it's very tough to defend. They see it again, an early this run, Gavin Eddie Gavin, gets, yeah. and getting in front of Andy Nahar. Andy Nahar needs to look over his shoulder, Dave, and make sure he confronts or fronts. We call that Gavin, so he can attack that first ball. And again, in these games, Dave, one set piece could, could make a difference. This one set in, and right there, a chance. It's a goal, and D.C. United has found a way. Daniel Willard sneaks in, and it's on the end of his boot and in the net. You know, I keep saying, and not jinxing them, you know, this could be uh, a chance for them to score. And you just keep jinxing Columbus, and we'll, we'll get a W out of this one. What Again, good service there. We're talking about Francis putting a good ball in. Look at De Rosario. And look at the runs, and nobody stand, staying with any of the runners. What a timely, great, almost shades off when Perry Kitchen scored his first goal in Portland. You remember? Gavin, with support from Miranda. And Perea pokes it back. Gavin for Ekdo. Francis steps up and goes off Mendoza, does well to control it, turns in the box, pinballs, it's in the net, a goal, Columbus, an own goal is at pinballs, and the crew are back in this game. We talked in the first half, Dave, about nobody that's going to score really any great goals out of the run of play and the set piece for D.C. And now an unfortunate bounce, own goal, Renteria, Mendoza keeping stuff. Where's that, that shot from France? Boom, that gets blocked by Kitchen. And then actually Mendoza does a good job of keeping stuff alive, getting something at goal, and then it hits, unfortunately, the Mark goal scorer. Is it Mark Burch or was it, was it Wood? Uh, sitting here. That's, that's Mr. Woolard. That yeah. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's incredible. Starting to run out of lumber in Portland. The, well, the game is Vancouver, so you don't have to saw any wood. The great atmosphere is now in Portland in our league. Eddie Gavin. Sean Francis. Francis sending in. Mendoza's up for it. Well, that's where Mendoza is good, Dave. He's got great elevation. He doesn't have the speed, the power as Renteria does, but in terms of his vertical leap and his technical ability, very good. He scored some balls this year, and again, it's Francis with a good first time ball in, away from the goalkeeper, impossible for him. He gets a step on, on Perry Kitchen, making that runner, being a little bit stationary, quite frankly. Well, you're not kidding about that elevation. He skied. Well, Davies cannot pick that out, and instead O'Rourke steps up. We get involved in their offense. Miranda makes a lurching run. Miranda, this is coming through. It's in the net. A goal. Eddie Gavin has scored. And Columbus not only back, but with the lead. Well, we talked about good group team defending, Dave. Individual defending just lets you down right here. The inability for Mark Burge to stop that penetrating run too easy. And then the ball gets followed in with pace, and the good guys making hard runs. They become tough to defend. I think, really, on the outside, you've got to do a better job. You can't really see it, but, you know, Gavin all alone in there. There's a lot of yellow jerseys, and, and people do leave their marks when players make some diagonal runs. But it starts really about 30, 40 yards away from the sellout crowd. Dave Rosario picks out players so well. This is the lose. Birch on the overlap, the shot is taken, Hesper the save, has to reach back and smother. 
And William Hesmer comes up with right now what is the save of the game. Yeah, it, it clearly is. I mean, it's actually ending a hard day that, that yeah. strikes the ball from, uh, from, from, from distance. Is this, yeah, this is yeah, ending hard. hard. Yep. If, if the loose strikes a baller's right foot. <laughs> Yeah, Birch. I need to get service. Here comes the service. James a header, but that's the hard. It's off the bar. Sent back in again. The hard hits the bar in stoppage time. Wow, incredible. We talked about Dave. Get balls in because it's not necessarily the first ball that will, but look where it is dropped the second ball. What a good, by the way. That's a half volley with the left foot. Oof. Not easy to do. And how close, but yet so far away. Good technique. Bring it down of his chest. And at a half volley, boom. No chance for Hasmer, but hey, that's why they have crossbars. So second ball is Julius James had denied the first ball. And that's it. Columbus, and I mean only just. They were a crossbar away from a disappointing result. Instead, their six-game winless streak ends thanks to that man, Eddie Gavin.